Hey, good morning, Calculus One. I wanted to help you with another derivative question from 3.1. Um, this question is, find the equation of the tangent line to this function, square root of x, at x equals 16. So, we want the equation of the tangent line. Uh, that means I want to get the equation of a line, I need the slope. The slope of the tangent line is the derivative. The equation of the tangent line is not the derivative. The slope of the tangent line is the derivative. So we've talked about the derivative before. The derivative is this f prime of x. <clears throat> and I can do this, I can do this limit definition of a derivative. The limit is delta x goes to zero, and I can do that to that function and find f prime of x. You know, when you get f the derivative, f prime of x, it's it's in general for any x. And then I would plug in the 16 to get the slope at 16. So I would have slope in general. So that's, we've done this several times. Look at this, this we've done something like this before also, uh, but, uh, but, but it's kind of new here. It's called the alternative form, and it's f prime of c. So this is, you do this, I'm going to do this at a particular point. So not in general at any x, but the derivative at a particular point. So it's like I plug the 16, I go ahead and plug the 16 in now or early. Uh, so that might be confusing. One more time. <laughs> you can do the derivative in general at any x. When you get the derivative, then you plug in the 16 to get the slope at that point. Or during the derivative process, you can go ahead and plug in the 16. So and then you get, you, the answer to this is, the slope when x is 16. So let's try this. Here I go. I want to do this. So I want to do f prime of 16. Uh, I want to do the limit then as x approaches 16. I want to do f of x. That's just the function, square root of x, minus f of c, which is the function at 16. I'm plug c is 16 in this question. So I'm plugging in a 16 into the function. Um, when you do plug a 16 into the function, the square root of 16 is 4. By the way, here's the picture. <clears throat> when x is 16, y is 4. That's the point you're at. I still haven't found the slope yet, but that's the y value, 4, all over x minus 16. So there you go. I've got to do this limit. You know, if I try to do this limit right now, I get 0 over 0. We worked on some limits like this back in chapter 2. What we do is we multiply by the conjugate. If I multiply by the square root of x plus 4 and the square root of x plus 4, everything works out. Uh, here we go. I'll do the limit as x goes to 16. In the numerator, when you multiply the square root of x times the square root of x, of course you get x. Uh, when you multiply the outers and the inners, when you foil that out, the middle terms all cancel. Then when you do the last terms, you get a negative 16. So when you foil out the numerator, you get x minus 16. In the denominator, we have this x minus 16, and we have it multiplied by this square root of x plus 4. I'm not going to foil that out because I see what's happening. That quantity x minus 16 cancels with that quantity x minus 16, leaving me a 1 up here. So I am left with uh, this, the limit as x goes to 16 of uh, 1 over the square root of x plus 4. I had to do a little conjugate work there. Anyway, now you plug in the 16, and that's a 4. The square root of 16 is a 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. This is 1 8. And that's the answer to this limit, which is what? It's the derivative, and it's already been evaluated at the point 16. It's this alternative form of the derivative. The derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So this is my slope at this point. Uh, the question, it, sometimes the question does say, find the slope of the tangent line, which I'd be finished. It'd be 1 eighth. Uh, <clears throat> um, uh, but this one's the equation of the tangent line. So it always takes a little bit of this, this algebra at the end where we need the equation of a line. Uh, I've done this before. I'm going to say it again here. I use the point slope formula. Y minus Y1 equals the slope times X minus X1. That's how I get the equation of a line. That's just one, my way of doing it. There's other ways of doing it. Uh, I have the slope is 1 8th. 
you know, I have this x value of 16. What I also need is a y value. I need the point. And so this problem gave me this 16. I plugged it in and I got the y value was 4. So there's my point. So here I go. y minus 4 equals the slope times x minus 16. I'll just clean it up. y minus 4 equals 1 8 x minus 2. When you distribute, add this 4 over here. y equals 1 8 x plus 2, I guess. I guess that's it. That's the equation of that green line over there. You can tell it has barely has, it doesn't have too much of a steep slope. In fact, the slope is only 1 8. <clears throat> so that's an accurate picture. It's a little off, but it's a good picture. Uh, that's the equation of the tangent line. And I use this alternative form. Yeah, I just want to say something. I could have done the, the other form, okay? This is usually how I do it, to tell you the truth. I just wanted to point this out in the book. Um, I usually just do this. <clears throat> this is how I do a derivative in general. I want to say something. When you get the answer to this, you can do this. I'm not going to do it, though, in this video. But when you get the answer to this, <clears throat> you get this. 1 over 2 square roots of x. So that's the derivative in general. That's the, an that, that's the answer to this. <clears throat> uh, you know, again, we're going to learn some shortcuts a a as we progress through chapter 3. But here in 3.1, we're still doing the derivative kind of the long way. Even though there's an alternative form, it's still the long limit definition of a derivative. But if I knew that this was the derivative, then if I plug in a 16, let me see what happens. If you plug in x equals 16, the square root of 16 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. I get 1 8. Yeah, the slope is 1 8. This is the slope of the tangent line at any x. And if you plug in the 16, you do get the 1 8. So I wanted to show you that. All right, good job.